Hi, I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark, acupuncture physician, applied clinical nutritionist, creator of Energy Evolution, and president of Longevity Wellness. Have you ever found yourself failing to follow through on your own intentions? I think we all have. And I want to I want to really look that in the eye this morning. So, one of my favorite quotes is by Mahatma Gandhi, and it is this. Manliness consists not in bluff, bravado, or loneliness. It consists in daring to do the right thing and facing consequences, whether it is in matters social, political, or other. It is in deeds, not words. It's very easy for us to think a thing and think, oh, the diet starts tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and uh, the diet doesn't start. We mean for it to, but we start the day with a muffin and a, a hazelnut latte and we have our excuses. Uh, the excuse of, I deserve a muffin. I deserve a donut. I, and, and sometimes we need to sit and have an honest acknowledgement with ourselves that those are excuses. Uh, there's also a, a verse in the Bible. This is 1 John 3, 18. Little children, let us love, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed or truth. So sometimes there are things in our lives that we are not being integrous with. And one of the ways that we kind of um, wiggle our way around that is <laughs> uh, we start looking at other people to <laughs> criticize. Uh, we start looking at other people and saying, oh, you should be eating like this, or you should be exercising like this, or you should be doing this. And what's really happening is that we are failing to do what we need to do for ourselves. And many of us hear this or, you know, kind of like know it between our ears, but all of us can have trouble getting it done, getting it into our body and getting it into our energy. There are some things that can help though. There are ways to develop habits. And one of these, so let's, let's talk about a couple of ways if you need to make a change. So first of all, if you find yourself really wound up by somebody else, uh, doing the wrong things, then I encourage you to take a moment and to examine whether there is something in your life that you can do better for yourself. Because if you find yourself frustrated by the lack of integrity of the people close to you, of someone close to you, there is something in your energy that is allowing that lack of integrity to exist. So sometimes a loved one just needs to be pointed in the right direction. Uh, maybe like I have a bedtime of eight o'clock and when I first implemented this bedtime of eight o'clock, I had to train my loved ones not to expect a return call from me after eight o'clock, or I'm not going to respond to a text message that's sent at 750, um, unless it's an emergency, but there aren't many emergencies that, that happen at that night, at that time of night. So, um, so when I chose to do that, and when I chose to start becoming integrous with my bedtime, uh, people around me became a lot more respectful and they learned to respect those, those boundaries because they understood that that was me taking care of myself. And now I am a sleep princess and I make sure I go to bed. Uh, I love going to bed at that time because I love getting up early in the morning and having that time for myself. So I might go for a walk under the stars, or I might do, you know, a workout, or it might be prayer and meditation time, or I might clean my kitchen. But whatever it is, it's it's me having time for myself, um, serving serving me. I spend the rest of my day in service to others, and I love it. I passionately love it. But in order to do that, I have to have a good start to my day in in service to myself. So, so I encourage you to take a moment and think about. Um, an area of your life that you might not be acting the way that you want to act or following through on the way that you want to follow through. Um, one of the things that I see the most with my very spiritual people 
um, especially women, is that we do a really good job of praying. Um, we might do a decent job of, of eating okay. Um, we can get that figured out. And then we totally neglect our bodies. We don't move our bodies. We don't exercise. Um, this is one of the hardest things for me to do personally because I would much rather sit and read. I'm, an, I'm a nerd um, and a bit of a geek. So my definition of those things is a nerd is someone who is curious and interested in how the universe works. Uh, a geek is someone who is curious and interested in how their computer works. And I got a bit of both. And both of those have a strong temptation to just sit on my rump and not, not get up and move. And so I have to put in goals for myself. And I found that I felt so much better when I achieved those goals and accomplished them um, that it was really worth it to me to make that a priority in my life. And that's why I do Ironman competitions is because every morning I have an agreement with myself um, at least every day, but usually it's in the morning times that I am going to do this workout today for this purpose, this reason, part of this strategy, that's part of this overarching program. And if I put in my, you know, hour, two hours, three hours today, then I'm going to get a big payoff in the future. So that's, that's part of, part of me being integrous with myself. It's also part of me acknowledging on a radio regular basis, on a daily basis, that it's hard. It's really hard to get out of bed and, um, you know, get up for an early morning bike ride. It is hard to um, always eat the foods that I most need to eat. It gets easier, but I have great sympathy for, for people that are on this journey. And I am relentless about making it work because one thing that... Iron Man training teaches us is that you just got to get it figured out, whatever works for you. This morning, um, I had my groceries Instacart delivered to my office because I'm not going to have time to go get my organic chicken if I don't, you know, if I didn't have them delivered. Um, I would have to choose between time to go shopping and time to cook, and now I'll have time to cook. Um, so, you know, like sometimes we just got to use those, those gifts that are that 21st century America offers to us. So I just, I just want to leave you with this today. Uh, deeds, not words. Look at what's going on in your life. And one thing that you can do to be a little bit more of the person that your, your dog thinks you are, <laughs> to be a little bit more of the person that, um, you are called to be because the universe has a plan and intention for every single one of us and you have a specific note. It's your job to play your note at a specific time. And in order to do that, you gotta be ready. And that means you gotta be healthy, you gotta be in the right frame of mind, um, and you've gotta be able to show up in your heart and energy in your, in your pure form of yourself. So without any junk and debris, um, without any resentment or anger or frustration of like, oh, I've gotta do this right now but with a happy whole heart. And usually what the universe calls us to do, oftentimes it's, it's little things. If we are properly prepared, then um, the I was meditating one day and the phrase that came in was, if you're doing it right, the burden is light. And I thought at first that that meant it's not heavy and that's true, but it's also you know divine source energy coming in. When you're doing it right, then you get the gifts of um, hearing the universe a little bit better, listening to those internal nudges and understanding what it is that your body, mind, and soul need. I also want to say that if there's a part of your, of your life that feels significantly out of integrity, then uh, being attentive to your own integrity can help you come back to center on that. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, any kind of relationship that is um, making you crazy, then being more of yourself and being more of the person that the universe has designed you to be will make you a lot less crazy. But there's some other things that can help too. And this Friday, every Friday at 8.30, I'm teaching the Million Dollar Qigong, anti-aging Qigong via Zoom. So it's easy to tune in. Uh, and the reason that I do that is because it strengthens resilience because I see the people that do this work need less and less supplements. 
Um, in general, they're needing about half the supplements that they needed before they started doing the classes. And, um, and they're, they're becoming more free. Uh, so it is a way to increase your overall strength and energy. Um, and also this Friday at 11.30, I am teaching how to muscle test yourself class because I find that this is the, one of the most useful tools that I have in my tool belt. And uh, back in the day, I used to teach people how to muscle test as part of a different series of classes that I was teaching. Now I'm teaching it just as a solo class, so you can attend. It's also via Zoom. It's gonna be this Friday at 11.30 via Zoom. And um, if you want to learn more about how to get the right answers for yourself, um, learn how to muscle test and, and how to get accurate answers for yourself, then that's a great class to tune into. If you are a, uh, if you have a loved one that you would like to help more with, then muscle testing is a great way to, um, to help them out. Like for example, when my mom was before she passed, um, she had a sensitivity to certain foods. And when I would go to the grocery store, I would muscle test different foods for her. And invariably, uh, I would, if something didn't test for her, but it, you know, it was like, I knew she really wanted something like this. Like there was a raspberry survey. I knew she wanted a raspberry survey. And so I went to the grocery store and I muscle tested and it was like, nope, it doesn't test for her at all. And I was so bummed. I picked it up and I looked at the label and it turned out that that raspberry sorbet had uh, lemon juice in it, which she was put her into, it made her bladder spasm and caused terrible pain for her. So I was very careful not to get that for her. Um, so muscle testing can be really, really, really beneficial because sometimes you know all the reasons that something, someone might not be compatible with someone, but sometimes you just gotta do it energetically. So years ago when I was invited to trivia night, we had, um, it was, you know, 50 cent wings and trivia. And I went and I muscle tested. Usually I'm fine with wings. Um, and I muscle tested and it was like, do not eat those wings. Don't eat the wings. And I'm like, nah, that's what we're here for though. That's what we're doing. I, I should eat the wings. And I ate the wings and, um, I got really sick afterwards. I got a, like a cold afterwards. And I realized because the chef um, had a bug. And so I got like contamination from the kitchen. So several years later, I was at an amusement park with my family and we walked into a restaurant and, uh, you know, they, they didn't have great quality food, but they had some food that looked like it would be fine. Like they had some foods that I usually eat, but when I muscle tested, nothing in that place muscle tested for me. So I just, uh, had some water and I brought a, a bar with me. So I just sat and snacked on my bar while everybody else had food. And, um, you know, I like, I had learned by that point, just follow the rules. And within just a couple of minutes, the little boy that was with us started puking. Um, my, my mom was with me at the time and she got really sick. Like everybody got food poisoning from this. Um, except for me, I was, I was totally fine because I didn't eat any of that food. So muscle testing can be really, 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 really beneficial and, and help you, um, help warn you about things that you could otherwise avoid and, and help you choose an, an easier path. Like, even though it seemed kind of hard not to eat when everybody else was eating, you know, like that's, that can be very alienating and feel very alone. Um, and you know, thankfully my, my family wasn't too horrible with me, but I felt pressure. Uh, but I just, I knew that I needed to do what was right for me. And, um, and it, it, it very quickly revealed why that was important. So, um, when you're confident that you're getting the information, that's the right information for you, then you can make the best decisions for yourself. And that is my mission in life as I like people to know what decisions they're making, whatever decision you decide to make is yours, but I want people to have all the information. So that's why I love teaching muscle testing. Okay, I hope you can join us on Friday at 1130. Um, this class is a, a donation to the Wildlife Refuge because I recently had to bring a little raccoon to those guys and they were super awesome and I would love to support them. Uh, I didn't know they existed until this little raccoon needed help. So I'm grateful to the, to the grumpy raccoon who was having a bad day for helping me to learn about all that. And so, so I'm doing this as a gift to the wildlife rescue. 
and I hope you can attend. I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark, and that's Good Medicine.